Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Hey guys, it's Sharik and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So on today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my top 10 fragrances for the year 2021. I know that you guys wanted me to go over my whole collection, but I didn't want the video to be too long. So the perfumes that you see here on display, they did not make it in the top 10, but maybe we'll talk about them on a later video. Um, but I do have my top 10 here. And I want to share them with you guys if you guys are interested in what I smell like, what I like, just keep on watching. I am sipping on some red wine. This is Rosada Sweet Red. Um, I got it from Target over the weekend and it's really good. It's really, really sweet. Okay, so before we get started, like all of the fragrance videos that you guys watch. I am not a professional. I'll try to explain it as best I can, but I will also have the notes on the screen for you guys, just so you can get, you know, a good idea on what they smell like if you are professionals and you know the notes that you like. I like scents that's fresh, airy, clean, not too strong. Um, and then I also like some fragrances that have the notes, um, the musk note. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first one that I will talk about, and this is in no particular order. I'm just, like I said, I have my top 10 here. Um, so the first one that I'm going to talk about is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. This bottle is just everything is so sexy. And I mean, you can't be in a bottle like this and not be sexy, girl. Like, what? <laughs> you better smell good with a bottle like this. So this is super nice. Um, I have the, I don't know, I don't think this is the biggest bottle. Um, oh, this is the 2.7 ounce. I think I paid um, maybe like 115. I paid 115 for this bottle. It actually came in a gift set over the holiday season. Over the holidays, I got it from Dillard's and it came with a cute little um, travel size. It's also a high heel shoe, it's so cute. Um, and then it came with like a body um, body shimmer type lotion or oil, which I don't use. I hate glitter, so I'm not into that. So I gave that to my little sister, but this smells amazing. I'm gonna actually wear this one today. I love it. It's really soft, very feminine, very sexy, and I love, love, love this scent. Next up is Gucci Guilty. Now this scent, um, Chelsea actually taught me into trying this scent because this, if you guys don't know, this is Chelsea's signature scent. Nine times out of 10, she smells like Gucci Guilty. It smells so, so good. I really, really like this. It's very feminine, very soft. Um, it's not too fruity, just everything that I like. I'm, I'm getting like fresh vibes. All of these um, scents I would wear this time of the year, spring, summer, and during the, during the day. So um, very light, like I said, very clean and Gucci Guilty, I love this. Um, this, I have the 2.5 ounce bottle. Love Gucci Guilty. The next one is YSL Black Opium. Now this one, for me, I will wear at night. Um, this is a more heavier scent than what I would usually go for, but I really, really like this, and my husband loves this scent on me. It smells really good on me, but like I said, I will wear this one at night. Um, I do have the 2.5 ounce, and I probably wouldn't wear this this time of the year because, like I said, for me, it's a little on the darker, heavier side, so stronger, you know. some in the top yeah to me this is more like a nighttime scent I have the 2.5 ounce so for me this is something that I would definitely wear at night 
date night dinner with your girls something at night it's just like a heavier scent but it smells amazing and i love the way it smells on my skin so this is a good one next up is can y'all see that i hope y'all can next up is ysl's libre i love this this scent is really soft really sexy let's see let's spray it this is really soft really sexy really clean y'all y'all catching my vibe really clean scent and i really really like this i don't know i know they have the intense one um a lot of people like the intense but again me i like perfumes that's a little more on the softer side so this one is a really good one this is um the oops, girl it's so small this is the three ounce bottle I love, love, love this packaging. This is probably like, out of this whole collection, this is my favorite packaging. It's just so pretty, so chic. To me, this is like a very bossy fragrance for my boss chicks, okay? I've never smelled the Intense. I'm not sure if that one smells different or if it's just a stronger one because the color is different. I know that the Intense is like dark brown, but you know, I like it on the lighter side, so yeah. YSL Libre. Next up is another one that my husband loves on me. And this is the Giorgio Armani C. And this smells so good. I got the big bottle, the 3.4 ounce bottle. I got it around the holiday time. Sephora was having a sale. And I got this big bottle for $75. So this one smells really, really nice. Again, really fresh, really clean. This is the one I should have sprayed on for today. Really fresh, really clean. Right up my alley. I love it. Um, and this one lasts for a really long time to me. So, mm. this is one that I feel like every woman should have in their collection. This will always be in my collection. It's a very nice, sexy, sophisticated, classy perfume. So this one will always, always be in my collection. And you guys should have it too. <laughs> you guys should have it too. That was so cheesy. Okay. Next up is Valentino. I, funny story, my husband had the Valentino first. And I think the men's Valentino can be um, a unisex scent. I would wear his all the time and I just decided to get my own. Um, this is the 1.7 ounce bottle. So it's a pretty nice bottle. It doesn't come with the top, which I think that is so weird. But um, I really like Valentino. I've sprayed it a lot. I use this a lot. And this is probably the sweetest one that I have up here. Um, but it just smells so nice. This is another one that I feel like everybody should have in their collection. All of these that I'm mentioning today, I feel like everybody should have in their collection. This one is definitely one of them. For a while, this was my signature scent because I was wearing my husband's for so long and he didn't mind it, but I decided to just get my own and I love it. This one is probably like the girliest one that I have. So this one, Valentino, love it. Next up is my newest purchase. This is the Tiffany Love. And this one, y'all, this one smells so good. It smells so pretty, so feminine. Ooh, just like so clean. Like everything that I love about a perfume, this is it. So y'all know I went on the hunt for this perfume. I had to go to maybe like the two different stores looking for this perfume and it smells so good. I wore this one all week last week and I had to slow down on it because I was getting a little out of hand. This one smells good. I get so many compliments when I wear this perfume. Um, this is the three ounce bottle. And this one was, I think, I want to say it was like three, or I'm sorry, I want to say this one was 135, I think. But this one is well worth it. It smells so good. The bottle is so simple, but cute. So I really, really like that. And this is my first 
um, Tiffany perfume. I've never had any Tiffany perfume before, but this one is really nice. So if you guys can get your hands on it or maybe go try to smell it, grab this. It's, it's really nice. Okay, and next, this is a new perfume. I purchased this one the same day that I purchased the Tiffany perfume. And this one is the Givenchy Lentel D. I think that's how you pronounce it. And like I said, I just purchased this perfume. This is the 1.7 ounce. So this is a pretty nice size bottle. Um, I think I paid $100 for this one. Again, fresh, clean. <laughs> I told y'all, I suck at, at, the, at describing these. Y'all. This one smells so, so nice. This is my first bottle of Givenchy and I love it. I'm not disappointed at all. This is for my classy, sophisticated lady. Mm. It has a really, really fresh scent. I'm picking up like a powdery scent, but I love it. Nice, airy, fresh. Everything that I love in a perfume. So this, y'all need to go try it. Next up is Hermes Twilly. And this one I actually got the recommendation from. This one smells really, really nice. I got the recommendation from a guy named Jeremy fragrance on TikTok. I basically get all of my recommendations from him because he's a guy and he would tell you like what's for the grown and sexy, what's for the younger teenage girl, what's for, you know, people that like to smell like candy, what, you know, and he describes the, I think he's like Italian, so he describes the perfume notes perfect. Like he's always like on point with descriptions of perfumes and everyone that I've tried um, that he has recommended for you know my category of perfumes he's been like dead on so I really really like this one if you guys have not tried this give it a try this is the um, 1.7 ounce bottle and I think this one was maybe like a hundred dollars from Sephora so love this one Next up is the Killian Princess. I wanted to get a bigger bottle. I would have got 3.4 ounce because it smells just that good to me. But Sephora was all out. They only had the rollerball size and I was so hurt about it. So um, I'm gonna wait a while to see if I can get it from Sephora. And if not, then I'll have to order it online. But this one, it smells really, really good. I've heard great things about the Killian Love. So I really want to try that one as well. But, oh, this isn't the, the rollerball. This is the travel size. Same thing. But this one smells really good. This one is a little on the sweeter side, but it's not overbearing. But I really, really like this one. This one, this one is fun. Okay, this is this is this is fun. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just throw in like a bonus one. This is the oldie but goodie. Just something that I will always and forever have in my collection. Well, I have a few that I will always and forever have in my collection. But I do want to just mention the Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. If you guys have been following me for a while, I have talked about this perfume several different times. I love it. I've bought this perfume over and over and over again. I like to wear this perfume to bed um, or in the spring and the summertime. It just smells so nice, so clean. And this perfume is just everything to me. I just really, really like it. So um, this is the 1.6 fluid ounce bottle, nice and small, um, but I love, love, love this perfume. So yeah, those are all my perfume. Oh girl, I forgot my girl. I forget, she was laying down. <laughs> now this, this is probably nine times out of 10, I'm wearing this. Like this is Chanel Chance 
I love it. Some people don't like it as much. This, <laughs> for so long, when this first came, <laughs> when this first came out, I was crazy over this perfume. Like, it just smells so good. This is my second bottle. As you guys can see, this is my most worn perfume. I love, love, love Chanel Chance. It smells so good. If you guys wanna know like what I really smell like, like this is it. Like this is what I smell like, period. Like I love Chanel Chance. It just smells so good. It's just, this to me, this is like the perfect perfume. Like this is my perfect perfume, my this is my dream perfume. Like, it smells so good. Like, I love every single thing about this perfume. And it lasts a long time on me. So, I really, really love this perfume. This is probably the biggest bottle, I'm sure. Because that's just how much I like it. Yes, this is the 3.4 ounce bottle. If you have not smelled the Chanel Chance, go smell it. Give it a try. My grown and sexy, sophisticated ladies. Give this a try. I think that everybody should have this one in their collection. That's just how I feel. I love it. So, try it or I'll just buy them all. <laughs> okay guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, I am Sharika B. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye y'all.